Being around a girl that you really like can be extremely nerve wracking and can almost seem as if anything you do will lead her to not liking you back. Unfortunately, I can't promise you that every girl will instantly love you. What I can promise you is that if you follow the six steps in order that I'm detailing in this video, you will significantly reduce your chances of rejection. By the end of this video, you're going to go from an awkward kid that doesn't know how to act around women to a confident man. And to start, I want you to invest an equal amount of time into her as she does into you. As a matter of fact, I'll take it a step further. She should invest more into you than you do into her in every single interaction. And it could be everything. For example, smiling. If you already smiled at her from across the room, make sure she has smiled at you back before you proceed and approach her. If you're already talking to her, you're face to face, you do not want to be the giggly one. You want to make sure she is smiling more in that interaction than you are smiling back at her. Same thing goes for talking and you notice you're the one doing all the talking asking all the questions and she's giving you one worded responses you're losing you want to make sure she's the one that's putting in more work the same thing happens with texting I like texting more than anything because it's very visual right so if you see yourself doing paragraphs but she's giving you a sentence or a few words you already know you're investing too much you have to make sure she's the one investing more in every single interaction if you don't you will always come across as desperate and that will lead her to not liking you next you want to avoid blankly staring and this can happen in various ways right for example if you're already in front of her and you're talking to her you don't just want to stare at her blankly in front of her eyes because she's gonna feel extremely awkward and even worse than that you do not want to stare in areas that are inappropriate as well especially when you guys are just getting to know each other instead follow the 70 30 rule what this means is that 70% of the time you will make eye contact in that 70% of time you will be connecting to her eyes now because it would be extremely awkward to just be solely looking into her soul and her eyes you will want to bounce this connection in a triangle effect what that means is that you're gonna bounce your eyesight from eye to eye and then down to her mouth in a natural way that will subliminally let her know that you are sexually interested in her then for the other 30% you will look off to the side so as you're talking this is a natural progression you can naturally look to the side it's almost like you can regain conscious in those few seconds and then re-engage again the mistake most men make is that they always look down because they feel intimidated but this as you can see immediately when you look down you look lower status versus just looking off to the side but still keeping your head up high which takes me to step three out of six which will be to never put her in a pedestal look these are the steps that are truly gonna get more and more effective as we progress into this video so these next few ones you truly want to engage with too many guys put women on a pedestal thinking that they're just being nice or that it's the only way to get them to like you back others do it because they've just watched so much porn that it's ruined their lizard brain into pretty much glorifying any other woman that breathes and other dudes are just needy regardless though if you put her on a pedestal she can only look down at you just think about that. How emasculating is that? You're basically her little puppy. So to fix this, use the power pose. Every time you're in front of a girl, you will not put her in a pedestal and instead put yourself in a higher position. To do the power pose, you will need to keep your head high. You will need to adjust to a shoulder width stance and you will want to make your shoulders as wide as possible. A good test to get your shoulders into that right position is to grab two pens or two pencils. If the pencils are facing each other, you have terrible posture. All you want to do is rotate your shoulders so you have the pens or pencils facing outwards or in front of you to get into that power position. Look at, at the immediate difference that this does. And also, it has been proven that when you enter a power stance like that, your body immediately produces more testosterone. Therefore, she is no longer on a pedestal and you have put yourself as the prize. The fourth tip is to make sure you understand personal space. Use this to almost gauge attraction levels from her, basically. The closer she lets you get to her, the more attraction she feels towards you. So a good breakdown of this is three usual layers. First, you have something I call social space. This is about four to 12 feet away from your body. This is where you have your new acquaintances or strangers that you're just meeting for the first time. This is where you're going to want to start and gradually close in to the second space, which is personal space. This is about one and a half to four feet from your body. 
This is where personal close friends or acquaintances that you've known for a while are mostly comfortable in this range. If you step in this range and she continues to have engaging conversation with you, you're good to go. Your ultimate goal is to enter the intimate space. This is 1.5 feet or less away from your body. And this is only reserved from family, for very close friends, and for lovers. And that's the category you're trying to enter. Which takes us to number five. Never abandon the mission. Whatever you want to call our agenda, our mission, our vision, our purpose, whatever you want to call it, that comes first above anything else. And this is where most men make a mistake and break this rule with women. They drop everything to give them attention. But if you are in the middle of building something great, you're building a business, I don't care if she just texted you the hottest picture of herself, you put that thing on do not disturb, you turn it around and you continue to work. A woman can sense if you've abandoned your agenda and your mission to pander to her and she will instantly see you as a weaker man. Which ultimately takes me to my hardest tip yet. Do not fall in love first. It's so easy for porn driven guys to show romantic interest first before she's shown any interest in you whatsoever. I could show you right now images of complete strangers on the screen that you do not know. And I'm going to ask you a simple question. Would you sleep with them? Most of you are probably saying yes. Most of you would sleep with all of them. Well, women don't fall in love the same way or as fast as men do. And when you do come across with all this energy and all this drive, you come on too strong. So play chess not checkers. Use this to your advantage. Understand that if most men are acting this way, it's not just you. If this girl is attractive, almost every guy that approaches this girl is approaching her with that strong energy, that compulsive energy, because that's your gut instinct. You will approach her slowly. You will control your urges and you will implement everything I taught you in this video so you can have the edge over everyone else and ensure you reduce your chances of rejection with that girl you truly like.